Today we're going to go over how do you calculate how much you could get in a hard money loan. The current market, things are changing, more and more investors are coming in. It is very important that you understand leverage is at least 50% of being successful in real estate investing. Part of that is just knowing, understanding your numbers, and we're going to go over what lenders will lend, how much they will give you, and how much you have to put in the deal. We're going to make this as simple as possible. The easiest way to do this, to understand it, is grab a piece of paper, put in your own numbers, go through it, do some examples, so you know before you reach out to a lender what the ballpark is that they're going to lend on a property, and also what you're going to need to understand and do. One of these things is what the lender will lend you. The other is what you're going to have to put into the loan. But there are other costs that come along with doing flips or even doing rentals, like carry costs. And we could go through that at the end just to make sure you know what you need for the all-in number. First thing you have to look at is what is the maximum loan value they will even lend you. Each lender, hard money lender, has a maximum loan ability they lend, and it's based on after repair value or ARV. What they'll do is they'll lend somewhere between 70 and 75 percent of the ARV, the after repair value. What that property is going to be worth when you go to sell it or refinance it and get an appraisal. What will that property get on the open market when you go to that point? That's what they're going to lend on. That's what they're looking at. All hard money lenders understand this is value add. You're buying a property that needs work. You're going to put that work into it and it's going to be worth more in the future. So they're not basing their loans on loan to cost. They're basing it on loan to ARV. Somewhere between the 70 and 75%, you just have to ask your lender. We're going to go through an example and today we're just going to use the 75%. You may have to find out that based on your experience, your credit, they're only going to do 70%. You can put the same numbers in, just use the 70 over the 75. Well, let's look at a simple example. Let's just say your after repair value, your ARV on your property, keeping it as simple as possible, is going to be $100,000. You could put in any number as you do your own calculations, but let's look at $100,000. What this means in the first phase of figuring out what a hard money lender will be, this is the maximum that they'll lend you. We have to go through another calculation to see exactly what they'll lend you, but this just gives us our top level. So if we take $100,000 times 75%, we're gonna have a maximum loan, available loan that they will lend us up to on this particular property based on our ARV is $75,000. They anticipate, you anticipate the property's gonna be worth 100, they're going to lend up to a maximum of 75%. We do now have to jump into the calculations, the real calculations, because part two of a hard money loan is what is each lender going to lend on each property? And they have numbers like, you know, 80, 100, 90, 90. What do those mean? That's important because even though this is what they'll lend to, it doesn't mean that's what they'll lend. Now let's get into the real fun math. What each lender will do is they'll have a number and say they'll lend up to 9100 or 8100 or even maybe 8080. Depends on your qualifications, your credit score. We'll go through the numbers and we'll show them to you so you can put those into whatever you qualify for. What this means is the first number, the 90 or 80, that is the maximum loan to cost now. Remember we talked about after repair value before. Now we're talking about loan to cost. So that is exactly what the purchase, the property cost you. They'll lend up to 90% of what you're buying that property for. And they'll lend up to 100% of what it's gonna cost you to rehab it. In this case, they're gonna give you 90% of the home purchase and 100% of the rehab. But we gotta remember we have that 75,000 over here. What they're saying is we'll do these two things but the loan can't go over 75,000 or 75%. Let's go through each one of these. And once again, if you have a piece of paper, follow along because it's good to have an example and go through the numbers yourself. Let's just say that we are buying a property for $60,000. So our purchase price is 60K. And our rehab 
is just going to be 20k. And then closing. Now closing, that's the number you're going to pay to have a title company, escrow, attorney, whoever it is, perform the closing when you purchase a property. So you're going to have title costs in there. You're going to have lender origination costs in there. You're going to have insurance, the property insurance. All those things that go into a closing of the transaction when you bought it, that's what we're talking about for closing costs. Today, let's, just for an example, we're going to use $3,000 because depending on your purchase price, it's going to be somewhere between maybe $1,800 and $3,000. We're just going to go with $3,000. You should maybe reach out, find out what these numbers are, or just use an estimate of like three to four grand just so you're high on it. If your lender is going to lend 90% of the purchase on $60,000, what they're going to lend is $60,000 times 90% or $54,000. Of the purchase price, the 60,000, they're gonna lend $54,000. That means of the 60,000, them lending 54, you're gonna have to lend or put into the deal $6,000 or the 10%. They're also gonna fund 100% of your rehab. So in this case, they're going to fund the whole $20,000. You put nothing into it. Last, the closing costs. They're not going to cover any of the closing costs, any of the incidentals, any of that stuff. That comes out of your pocket, typically. They're putting nothing in it. You're going to put $3,000 in. When you look at this, what they're going to lend you is 74,000 and you're going to need 9,000. You have to make sure you have the $9,000 just to put into this deal, just to close. They're gonna cover 74,000. Now, just for an example, if this rehab was $25,000, if you're gonna be above, remember that original amount, the 75. Anything above 75, they're gonna put it over to you instead of you are having them fund everything. They're only funding it up to a certain percentage. Here is why. They look at it, this is like 75% or 70%, depending on the market, is comfortable for them. They anticipate that you're gonna to wanna to make 10 to 15%. So let's just say it's 15%. 75% of what they'll lend you or their box, plus the, your expected profits of 15%, already gets you up to 90% of that sale price. Then you have to pay a, a realtor, maybe five to 6%. You have carry costs, you have other things that come up. The 75% makes them feel comfortable that you're gonna make money in this transaction. And that's why they, they keep these numbers at that 70 to 75%. Let's look what happens when you have a lender out there that's only going to lend you 80% of the purchase. And just for example, let's just change this up again. Let's just say they're gonna lend you only 90% of the rehab. Let's just change on the go here. They're going to say, okay, the purchase price was 60,000. We're gonna lend you 80%. So we're gonna give you $48,000. So they're gonna give you 48,000 you're gonna to have to come in with a difference for the down payment on the property or your portion, that's 12,000. They also say they're only gonna lend you 90% of the rehab. 90% of the 20,000, so whatever your rehab numbers are, you put those in here, and that's 18,000. So now they're going to lend you $18,000 of the rehab you're going to have to put in $2,000. And remember the closing, they're still gonna do zero, you're still gonna to have to do 3,000. This just shows you, depending on your qualifications, credit matters, experience matters, the better prepared you are money-wise, the better terms you're gonna get. Even with some lenders, you could get up to 100%. Hard Money Mike does that a lot with clients that have done a lot of transactions and the loan to values are below that. Before we get into this final number, hit the like button. It helps us, it helps others, and it keeps everything growing. And we're able to keep doing these videos. What you're gonna find here now, instead of them lending 74,000, 
they're going to lend 66,000 and you're going to have to come up with 17,000. This is where it's vitally important to make sure you're talking to a lot of different lenders and making sure you work on some things like your credit, getting some experience working with some other people so you could get the best leverage you can because you could do more transactions, accomplish more things with better leverage on a property because typically even when you're looking at someone who's lending 80 or 90, they're probably gonna even charge you more. That's just part of the whole thing. When they lend you more or lend you less, they typically even charge you more because this is a bucket that they call you know, lower credit. So what you find between the 90, 100, and 80, 90 is in the same transaction, you're going to have to bring in an extra eight grand. Hopefully you have it. Hopefully it's something you could afford, but you need to know these numbers before you jump into any fix and flip. Now that's how you calculate how much a lender is gonna lend you and your loan amount. One other thing that's vitally important, especially if you're just getting into this, when you're figuring out your whole budget, is yeah, you have your purchase price, yeah, you have your rehab and your closing, but there's also carry costs, what you're gonna be paying every month. You're gonna be paying the interest. There's gonna be accumulation out there of taxes and insurance and maybe even HOA. So you have to make sure, especially on carry costs, your interest, your payments, and HOA, and anything else that comes out of pocket you're going to be paying. You're gonna to have to add that to what you're bringing in for the loan, what you're bringing in for closing to make sure you're not stressed out over this time. When you're going through this, if you figure like, hey, I have an interest rate of, let's say 6%, it's $100,000, that means it's a $500 a month payment. I'm gonna keep it for six months. That's $3,000, you know, there. So go through and calculate the good thing about hard money is it's simple interest, which means all you do is times the interest by your loan amount and divided by 12, that's your payments. Just remember, when you're looking at cash flow, how much money's coming out of your pocket, you have to look at the loan that's provided, the difference, and then also the carry cost. The shorter the carry period, the better off you are with out of money pockets. And most lenders are gonna look for something called reserves. How much money will you have after you pay these two numbers? to make sure you can cover this number and if something goes over or if you have to carry it a little bit longer. We hope this helps you. We have a lot of other videos out here. Our purpose here is to make sure you're using hard money correctly. Hard money used in the right positions and knowing your numbers will make real estate investing fun and easy for you. If you have any questions, just email us. If you have a deal for us to look at, run through the numbers with you. We'd be happy to help you.